Hi, I'm Sam Ariel DiCaprio, and I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna be talking to my dad that you may know as Gino DiCaprio, Jake Hollow, or by his Jewish name Davi Chimshun. But I'll be calling him Daddy since he's my father. Okay, so. Hi. <laughs> so, what what made what inspired you to write these books? Uh, well, the Universal Law of Creation, it was, um, while well, I was in, uh, let's just say that some kind of, uh, I guess you call it a source, spiritual entity, or, you know, God, whatever name you want to call it, uh, um, just kind of affected me. And so I just started writing things that I had no clue about. And, uh, I mean, that's about it. I mean, most of it I do explain through my book, and I do explain through other interviews. Uh, I believe I've also explained to you. Okay. So, what will people discover reading these books? Well, I mean, let's focus on the Dion DiCaprio work and the David Chimchong, which I just came up with a prayer version of this. Uh, what people are going to discover is each person will discover something individually. Some people are going to look at it more as a materialistic, uh, that they can get wealth, uh, whatever they want in life. And then there'll be other people, which I'm really trying to hear, which are very limited. Uh, I call them the people with a gift, are going to get more the secret codes and the spiritual meaning of what life is really about and why we are here. Okay, so how are you changed by, re by writing these books? You know, it's amazing. I mean, you, you've seen the change in me. You know me all your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? obviously. I mean, uh, you're a teen now and uh, you're going to be a very beautiful woman. Um, but uh, how does it change me? I believe it's, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm just going by what you guys tell me. And it's that I've gotten calmer. I'm not as stressed out as I used to be. I'm not materialistic as I used to be. I mean, that would be probably mostly it. I don't know. I hope that answers the question you asked me. Is there? Well, I, as your daughter, I could tell that I've seen your changes. I, you used to be one of those fathers that never really cared and didn't put your children first really? or anything. Really? <laughs> and but now, now you're um, you're more caring, loving. Are you sure? Yes, I am very sure. Okay, I thought you said I'm not. Well, you were you were like you got anger issues. Like. I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm so sorry for being such a AOS, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so, um, why is it important that people should pick up your book and read it? Well, it's, it's not the issue about if it's really important. The issue has to do with if people are looking for something, like for those who are more into the materialistic uh, thing. Uh, the first book, which is Secret Law of the Universe, would probably uh, make a huge uh, difference in their life, and then those who are more spiritual, and the spiritual axis will all have a difference. So I don't really want to say that one more thing, but if everybody has a choice, I mean, if that's whatever source they're looking for, Kay. that answers the question. Okay, so now with the books that you've already published, what, what are the differences between them? And then, with, and then also, with, what are the differences with the ones you haven't okay. published? Okay, uh, actually, they all really were published as PDF. You mean you're talking about as a paperback? Okay, paperback. Okay. Uh, let's first start with the first book, which is Jake Hollow's Guide on How to Persuade Women. That book deals more with who I used to be, the kind of person I used to think, but I did put some of my Geo Chapter work as the Universal Law of Creation. Uh, now we're going to go to the Universal Creation. The Universal uh, Law of Creation, the first book called Secret Law of the Universe, that people have compared it a lot like to the Book of Secrets, uh, the Prophecy, I, I, you know, I always forget the name of that book, but I never read that's why. Anyways, uh, it deals more both spiritual and materialistic. And then there's another book I came out with called The Prelude, which is uh, Righteousness. That deals with more the prayer, what led me to write these books. Now let's go to the other books you're saying, the ones I haven't published. There's another J. Hollow book which deals more with emotions and what it is to be a motivational speaker. Uh, that deals more in that concept, but then there's the other books from the Secret Law of the Universe, which is the Universal Law of Creation, which is the Time is an Illusion, 
which deals about that everything you see is not real and I teach you how you are connected to your spiritual source and why you are here, the real reason why you are here. It gets a little more deeper. Then there's the last book, it's called Illuminati the Ones in the Shadows. Illuminati the Ones in the Shadows deals more about who's really controlling what's going on. And I don't like using evil as a word, but, but there are some forces out there that have control. But the problem is what we forgot, and I explained this in the book, is that we let them, we gave them permission to take us over, to do what they want to do with us. And that our, our path is to get back in control of what we have. So it really gets more darker. And at the same time, it also gives us hope. And it gives us a choice that there is no destruction. What does it give us a choice between which, which world do we want to go to? Do we want to go to a world of peace? and be happy and enjoy life, or do we want to go to a world of misery? And of course there's going to be more books coming out after that because I'm getting other writers to get involved with. So I hope that answers the question. Does it, sweetheart? Yes, it does. My little honeybee? Okay, well, um... I love the way you smile. It's so beautiful. I'd like to say thank you to you guys for answering the questions, and also to the viewers for taking your time and watching this video. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>